genre, persuasive article, time for kids, the future of transportation. Essential question, what are the positive and negative effects of new technology? Read about how new technology is changing transportation. Point, counterpoint, autos advance. Cars will keep us moving into the future. Cars are the best way for individuals to travel. They are far more comfortable than crowded trains or buses. Cars can take us wherever we want to go, whenever we want to go, and without waiting for other passengers. Going green. Of course, public transportation has its good points. It uses less fuel per person than a car. But over the years, cars have become more fuel efficient. To cite government data, in 1975, cars averaged 13.1 miles per gallon. In 2009, average miles per gallon had risen to 21.1. Some new types of cars also pollute less. Electric cars run on batteries that emit no carbon dioxide. These cool cars also use less energy to get to a destination than regular cars. Automatic autos. Some engineers have tried to advance plans to make driving even easier. They are testing cars that start, steer, and stop without human drivers. The cars have radar, laser scanners, and video cameras. These devices keep the car on the road, avoid other cars, and stay within the speed limit. A computer is able to access information from sensors in the car and make an instant analysis of the situation. What is the reasoning behind building these automatic cars? Safety is a major goal. About 20% of serious car crashes are caused by people who use cell phones, eat and drink, or read maps while driving. Incidents like these caused by human error would not occur with a driverless car. Its computer cannot be distracted. Some people fear these kinds of cars will cause more accidents. In fact, the opposite is true. So far, driverless cars have an almost perfect safety record. There's no doubt that driverless cars and energy efficiency cars will offer improved transportation down the road. Electric cars run on batteries. Cars are plugged in to recharge. Counterpoint. Point. The railway. Public transportation is the way to go. Where would we be without public transportation? We probably would be still stuck in a car in traffic. Trains, buses, and subways are the best ways to travel. Public transportation uses less energy and is better for the environment. It is an inexpensive and comfortable alternative to car travel. Less oil. According to government data, 70% of the oil consumed in the U.S., is used for transportation. Personal vehicles use more than 60% of that total, and planes use 9%. Buses and trains consume only about 3%. About 4.2 billion gallons of oil are saved each year thanks to the people who take public transportation. Even more energy could be saved if more people traded in their car keys for a bus or train ticket. Commuters can skip traffic jams by taking the train. Less pollution. Pollution is also a factor to consider. About 35% of carbon emissions come from passenger cars, while only 2% come from trains. The use of public transportation over personal vehicles avoids releasing 745,000 metric tons of carbon monoxide, a toxic gas, into the air each year. Speed thrills. One latest improvement in public transportation technology is the high-speed train. These trains run mostly in Europe and Asia. They can travel at speeds of 150 miles per hour or more. High-speed trains would be perfect for travel between major American cities. A few drawbacks could derail high-speed trains in the United States. Opponents cite their cost. It would take billions of dollars to build the high-speed system. Safety is also a concern. Accidents involving fast trains would be terrible. 
yet high-speed trains in other countries show great safety records. High-speed trains also run on electricity, which would reduce pollution. According to one analysis, a fast rail system in the U.S. would result in 29 million fewer car trips each year. Anyone with vision knows this. High-speed trains and more advancements in public transportation would keep U.S. transportation on the right track. In Japan, high-speed trains link distant cities.